if I may, on this moment on the show, and uh, turn the clock back to 1996, when I was a 26-year-old uh, sports center anchor from New York City, a Jewish kid from New York City walking onto the set and being teamed up with a guy who I'd seen on television but had never met before. A proud African-American Chicagoan by way of North Carolina due to his school bleeding Carolina blue. And the two of us became married on television, essentially he referred to himself as my TV wife. And I cannot believe that I'm now sitting here on television reporting to you the news that I heard about 10 minutes ago. And that Stuart Scott has died. One of the most joyful, full of life individuals I have ever come across lived his life the way his parents wanted him to live it, the way he felt he should live it. He broadcast the same way a groundbreaking broadcaster in the world of sports television. I love this man. I still love this man. And the fact that he has passed away is absolutely mind-boggling and a travesty. He battled cancer as bravely as anybody else. And I know there are many people out there who are battling cancer right now and would want, Stuart would want you to know to keep fighting. Keep fighting and that he didn't lose this battle of cancer. He fought it as bravely as he possibly could. And as you go to bed tonight, flip your pillow over to the cool side. And before you go to sleep, as Stuart would say, you hit your knees tonight and pray to the big man for his beautiful daughters who he loved, Taylor and Sydney. Pray for Stuart and his family, his parents, his siblings, his girlfriend, his ex-wife, everybody who he loved. And that includes you, the sports fans, even those who hated on him. He thrived on it. That's because he is who he is and was, I can't believe it's the past tense, who he was. Stuart Scott is dead at the age of 49. I love you, Stuart. Wherever you are, Godspeed. Rest in peace.